dangerous. What? I see Santa's way toward the table. Oh? What the fuck? What, what, the what, the what are you doing? Biakia. Biakia. What you say? You're totally pigging out. Right. Hello, everybody. My name is Eric Trouble, and welcome back to another Dangrampa. Goodbye, despair. Someone might die in this episode. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. They might. I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm expecting that. So, if you guys haven't yet, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. And let's start. We were forced to hear those words. We just stood there silently. Nobody said a word and eventually, everyone scattered and vanished. Mm -hmm. And it led straight on to the first night. A night so beautiful, it enchanted me. Mm. And yet my heart was horribly upset. That kind of beauty was definitely far different than my usual daily life. Alright, so chapter one. Okay. Destination Despair. So we're just now starting chapter one, ladies and gents. Alright. So this is morning time. Or Academy School Trip an Executive Committee right. has an announcement to make. It is now 10 p.m. Nighttime, bedtime. Nighttime bad time. can be confusing. Uh -huh. If you're out at night and accidentally meet a killer, then it sucks to be you. Mm. But if you're worried about that and can't sleep, I've prepared a cottage on the hotel grounds for each of you. Every single one of you, please feel free to rest in your own rooms. All However... Right. Before you go to bed, I strongly recommend you lock your doors. You mm -hmm. never know who might be planning to kill you. That's true. <laughs> bye bye. Oh, okay. <laughs> Deanne, that's ominous. A cottage, huh? All right. Wait, so a cottage? Wait, is he talking about our little, um, cab thingy what's it over here so this is my room okay damn it as soon as i entered the cottage i collapsed onto the bed what the hell as i screamed silently to myself i buried my head in my arms i didn't want to see anyone anymore i just wanted to be alone forever i have nobody i can trust right because even if i wanted to trust them I don't know anything about them yet. The only thing person, the only person I can trust is myself. No, even I don't believe that. In truth, after I was forced to hear that dumb rule, you can't leave unless you kill someone. I realized there's a part of me that really wants to get off this island. And at that moment, I let out a scream. A scream erupted from my mouth. It rushed from my mouth like water from a collapsed dam. Why me? Why do I have to go through with this? I began to lose my voice. It faded enti entirely not long after. What followed was silence. No, not complete silence. I heard a faint sound of crashing waves in the distance. As if the waves were murmuring into my ears. This is no longer the world you knew. And once again, I buried my head in my arms. Why am I here? What am I doing here? I forced my eyes shut. I wasn't tired or anything, but I just wanted to sleep, if only for a short while. I wanted to put an end to it all. And if by chance I managed to wake up the next day and it would be awesome if I was back to my normal life. With these meager expectations, I fell into a light sleep. Good morning, everyone. All right. Looks like today so we is just be another perfect tropical day. Now then, we just got the we just got through our first night. And make sure to give it our Here. all today. All right. So it definitely wasn't a dream after all. I was forced to acknowledge that yet again, which put me in a bad mood from the get get go. I guess for now I should go outside. No, oh no, my God. no! You're not allowed to go out. Why not? Monokuma, why are you here? No way! 
Hey now, don't be so worried. I'm here for fun fun reasons. Fun reasons? Hey! I want you to find my stuffed animals. Your what? I got ahead of myself and made too many. But I thought I'd I thought it'd be wait be a waste to to just throw them away, so I've hidden them all over the island. They're scattered all over various areas, so you just go right ahead and look for them all. Why do I have to do something like that? Because I said so. You can't say no. I've already hidden one of them in this room, and I won't let you until you find it. Won't well? let you out until you find it. Good luck. So I have to find Monokuma's, I guess. Damn it, that selfish stuffed animals. So... Here? Okay, that was easy. Uh -huh. I've been found. All right, now I can go out. Wow. Good job. I've also let you left you some money coins. I'm so generous. Isn't that wonderful? These coins can be exchanged for fabulous items at the beach, at the rocket punch market. I've also hidden the stuffed animals in other places too. So do your best and look for them. <laughs> if you find them all, surprise, surprise. All right, never mind. I should just go. Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's get out of here. <laughs> okay. Uh, what? Huh? Oh, it's just you. Don't scare me like that. I could say the same for you. Hey. By the way, did you see them? Damn see what? It. Not good. What the hell are they? Definitely not good. What are you talking about? Uh. The bridge. You know, remember that bridge at the central island? Did something happen to it? No shit, why the hell else would I be here? Those monsters are in front of the bridges. They're they're blocking them off. Wrong. They're not monsters, they're monobies. monobies. Ah. Oh my god, it's so cool! The monobies are the guardians of the Jabberwock Island. They're making sure you guys don't think about ignoring the progression by going to the other island. If those monsters are his gatekeepers, it's better if I don't get close to them. Damn it! So annoying, I can't stand this anymore. Hey, get a grip. Your face is getting weird. Aw, man. I can't. There's no way I can get a g grip. We're gonna get eaten by monsters. There's no way I can enjoy vacationing here now. Hey. Hey, what's with all the noise? Ah. Another- What? And I came all the way here to get you both, but if you're going to call me a monster, and eh, you're here to get us? Well, I was told to come get you because we kept waiting and you two never showed up. Everyone is waiting at the hotel restaurant. Hurry up. Hurry up and join us. Everyone's waiting at the restaurant? Damn it. Whatever, man. I don't care. I don't care at all. <gasps> I'm out of here. Hey, where are you going? There... That's what I tried to say, but Kazuichi sprinted away like lightning. Mm. I guess I'll head over to the restaurant. Wait, so where is the restaurant? Wait, I'm so lost. Okay, so let's... Over here... Not there. Okay, this way. Wait, so where is the restaurant? That's the hotel right there. Hotels. Where's the restaurant? Oh, here. Okay. Gotcha. You're late, Hajime. And where is Kazuichi? I thought you were together. He ran off somewhere. Huh? Huh? Where? Well, he pretty much said he was running away, but... but... Running, but where? <laughs> There's nowhere to run anyway. What a weirdo. However... However, after what we witnessed yesterday, his behavior behavior is understandable. Huh? What do you mean? Did something happen yesterday? I don't remember anything happening. And even if I did, it looked totally fake anyway. Understand. Yep, yep, not worth remembering at all. It'd be a lot easier to deal with all this if I could just deny it outright like that. So, why have you gathered us here? Not yet. Not until Kazuichi arrives. Wait a sec. That means the reason you told us to come here is... Pointing! Owie, apparently Moiser Biakia has something to tell us. Really? What? 
obviously we're here just to, to discuss our strategy for defeating that monster it's impossible. there's no way we can fight that thing i mean it ha it has heavy weapons and everything Do some spirit. anything is possible with a fighting spirit let me tell you a bold this. boast however let me give you some advice the truly strong do not raise their voice so recklessly. Hey, hey! Hey, hey, let's start talking already. <laughs> this is probably some lame attempt to make us feel better or something. Don't make me repeat myself. Don't make me repeat myself. When everyone is here, then we can start talking. Jeez. Geez, fine. I'll just bring Kazuichi myself then. Everyone wait here. I'll find him and bring him here. Even if I have to tie him up. Mm -hmm. I'm a little jealous now, getting tied up by Miss My Hero. I forgot that he um, was a creep, so let's skip his ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Disgusting, moron. That's fine. Right. Now then, let's have breakfast while we wait for everyone. Let's eat. All right. The moment he said that, he started wolfing down the pile of food in front of him. Um, where did that food come from anyway? <laughs> when I arrived this morning, it was already here. They even have crab and shrimp. Aww. Crab and shrimp are such a pain to eat. I hate them as much as I hate Makan's ugly stuttering face. Oh. <laughs> My ugly stuttering face? Gross. That's it. That's the face right there. Why are you being so mean? <laughs> You're the kind of girl that bullies just love to torment, aren't you? Honestly. You should stop now. Oh! I got it! Ter teru Teru prepared this food, right? <laughs> Unfortunately, it wasn't me. <laughs> you see, the food I make doesn't taste as shitty as this does. Oh. Okay. <laughs> this is bad. It tastes yummy to me. No, 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 no. Just no, no, no. yummy, right? Compared to the world-class dishes I make, a dish that tastes yummy would still be considered shit. Nonsense. In fact, even comparing them is out of the question. Comparing my dishes to this lowly peasant food, how rude. Hey, don't take it so personally. Understand. I'm just saying, if you guys ate my food, you wouldn't be able to control yourself. What, what does that mean? Well done. Well, let's just say your jaw wouldn't be the only thing that drops. There's no mistake. In fact, your panties would drop too. Like the black thong Miss Pecco is wearing, for example. What did you say? How do you know about that? Oh, However. He guessed cr hmm. However, if Teru Teru did not prepare this food, then the one who did is... <sighs> Could it have been Monokuma? It's safe to eat food cooked by something like that. Don't worry. That's why I'm tasting it for poison to make sure it's safe for consumption. But you don't need to eat that much to check it for poison. Hey. Okay, thanks for waiting. I brought him. You are a boy. Right? Hey, straighten up a little more. Shouldn't a man like... Shouldn't a man like you be embarrassed to walk like that? Oh, Stop, don't pull. You're gonna rip my sleeves. Even though you look all flashy, flashy, you're actually a big crowd. A coward. Oh my god. You're actually a big coward. Are you going to be okay? People like you are usually the first victim, you know. I just want to go home already. What the? What the fuck? What? Oh. Can you even call that trip? How in the world did you end up in such a compromising position after tripping? Well, it certainly makes me happy. I'm very happy right now. Oh my god, Teru Teru. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Please help me. Someone help her so that way uh -huh. Teru Teru she doesn't so do anything when she's creepy. Embarrassed. It's so moe. I'm practically snorting with joy. We, we should help her up. Yeah, help her, please. Thank you. Are you okay? Nikon, are you okay? Uh -huh. My head is throbbing a little, but I'm okay. Your head's definitely not okay. Hey. She's beyond being just a clumsy girl. That fall of hers was like a magic trick or something. Um. Anyway, everybody's here now, right? Then let's get going. Mm. Sit. Hmm. Oh, dang it. I keep skipping things once in a while. 
You're right, though I am not quite ready to stop eating breakfast, I should begin my, my talk. So, it's finally starting to... That took way too long. Mm. Wait, so what are we doing? Listen. First, I have a question for you all. That Monokuma thing ordered us to kill each other. So under these strange circumstances, what do you think we need to, We need right now? Who the fuck knows? Get to the point already. Don't make me repeat If you want me to get to the point, you better hurry up. Hurry up and answer my question. Huh? What do we need? We need food and sleep, obviously, right? No! No, you've forgotten about shitting. <laughs> I mean, that's true. I mean, people do shit, so that is true. Uh, ne Nekamaru. <laughs> Which means the answers are a good appetite, a good night's sleep, and a good shit. <laughs> Does anyone have a real answer? Perhaps. Could it be a bond? Bond. I... This is what I believe. As long as the ultimates work together, there's nothing we can't accomplish. It's obvious. You'll all be able to create a hope that can overcome any despair. That's why if we want to escape this island, we need to promise each other that we'll work together. Gross. Wow, he said that with a straight face. How is he not embarrassed? <laughs> I just as I figured. That was kind of lame, huh? However. However, he does have a point. That must be why Monokuma is enforcing a rule that will cause us to be suspicious of each other. I see. I see that was a pretty good answer. Since it's impossible to face our enemy as individuals under these circumstances, we must fight as a group. However, what we need to achieve that soldier soldierly is not something as easygoing and optimistic as a bond. Huh? Then what? Listen. What we need right now is a disciplined leadership provided by an unmistakable leader. I see. I see even sports teams need captains after all. Rejoice. Rejoice. I shall accept the position. Huh? Hmm. Now then, I'll wrap up this introduction and let's move on to the main question. Hey! Wait just a second. What? What is it? Jeez. What did you just say? I don't care how you... Excuse it. You're being too forceful. Deciding to be the leader all on your own? Why does it have to be you anyway? Not possible. Who is more fit to lead other than me? I am the ultimate influent progeny of the Tugami household destined to stand above all others. What are you saying? Seriously, I'm telling you that attitude of yours is too forceful. Wait! Mahiro, please wait. It's true that Byakuya may be a little forceful, but given our current situation, I believe it's a leader's duty under circumstances like this to be forceful to a certain degree. But that may be true, but if we just need to some just need someone who can lead people, then even Sonia can. No. No, perish the thought. I am merely a figure figurehead. Hey. Well, he must have the qual qualities of a leader if he can accept the role under these circumstances. Mm. If everyone's okay with that, I'm okay with it too. Then I guess we made our decision. Don't worry, as long as I'm the leader, I won't let anyone become a victim. I will guide you all. That much I promise. <laughs> so reliable. It's true he's reliable, but I'm a little surprised. I didn't think he was the type of guy who'd say something like that. I expected the ultimate fluent progeny to look down on us like we're bugs or something. Now then, let's move on to the topic at hand. For real this time, I have something to show you all. Something to show us? Follow me. It's at Jabberwock Park at the Central Island. Come on, follow me. After saying it so bluntly, Byakuya turned and left the restaurant, stomping his feet along the way. Just as I thought, he sure is forceful. Aww. Geez, we may have made a mistake in choosing him as the leader. Probably. Though everyone made similar complaints, they all followed Byakuya out of the restaurant. Okay, so let's leave. I better hurry and follow after Byakuya. He's at Jabberwock Park, I believe. Okay, s wait. Oh, so I leave. Okay. For skinny people, you're awfully slow. Oh, so you're calling yourself fat? Are you calling yourself fat? Abiyaki, <laughs> because 
Whatever. Um, it seems you are just too fast for us. Uh, Jeez, I never expected a fatso like him to move so fast. What? <laughs> so what's supposed to be here? What? Here? Really? Such ignorance. If you haven't noticed it yet, then I was right to dismiss you all as idiots. Uh. Hmm. What's here? <laughs> Jesus. This? What is that? A timer? Wait, days 21 left. 21 days left. What, till this whole place explode? And obviously, out of place objects placed in the center of a peaceful park. It looks like a clock, but something seems off. It's like a bomb. It's counting down. What's going on? Was this here when we came last time? Uh, no. No, No, I'm pretty sure it wasn't. Hmm. I found it this morning when I was exploring the island one more time. It's unknown when it it was actually placed here. It appears Monokuma must have placed this object. What does this countdown even mean? I have no clue. <laughs> Once again, something has appeared that I don't understand. But it's got nothing to do with me because I refuse to believe this is happening. Hold on. Could it be? It better not be a bomb. It Are looks a lot me? like it. Uh huh. Not if they wanted to blow up the islands, they would have done so by now. There's no need for a countdown. Maybe, but I don't know. Um. Then why are they counting down? Hmm. It's a mystery. Right? A mysterious mystery, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And there's Monami. Monami? What? Why are you here? Um. I heard everyone talking while I was patrolling, so I came here. Over. Uh. No, not that. Didn't Monokuma kill- Oh, shit. <laughs> I forgot. I freaking forgot he killed her. Honestly, not since she's here. I forgot about that. I freaking forgot about that. All right. I see. So that's why you were surprised. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that. After all, I can never die. Of it course appears, you can't. You I see. You must be an undead abomination. Abomination. Rising from the foul, foul Oh my god. Hiccups are coming, y'all. The hiccups are coming. The foulest deaths of the nether world by black magic. Do you want me to make you my thrall? Hey, hey. Monami's a mechanical such animal, right? Doesn't that mean she can't die in the first place? <laughs> now that you mention it, she only need like a spare or something. A spare? What a, what a mean thing to say. Hmm. However, you must... You have arrived at the perfect time. There's something I wanted to ask you. Come on. What is the meaning behind this timer and this countdown? Answer me. Hmm? Huh? Countdown? Ah! What is this? Um, I'm sorry? I don't know what this is. Hey. You really don't know? I'm sorry, I don't really have a grasp of what Monokuma is up to. Huh? You don't know, even though you're Monokuma's little sister? I'm not my brother's little sister. She did this at the roll or not. Which one is it? Alrighty. Anyone, let's all do our best. Let's kick that evil Monokuma off this island. If you don't know what the countdown is for, you're useless to us. Get lost. Um, um let's get together. I said, get I lost. Oof. Yeah. I'm sorry. Um. um, perhaps you are being a little too harsh. I am starting to feel sorry for it. <laughs> Miss Sonia, may I call you Miss Sonia? No, I insist on calling you that. I won't be fooled. There's no need to feel sorry for that thing. She's obviously working with Monokuma. Hey, bastard. Who the fuck cares about that stuffed animal? More importantly, what the hell is that clock? Hmm. Looks o ominous. Doesn't it? Who put the object here? And how did they do it in just one night? Hmm, I can't imagine. Which means it doesn't make any sense. Also, it's deadly. <laughs> However, that's not all that's unimaginable. This island is full of mysteries that we can't begin to imagine. For example, how were the 16th 
how were the 16 of us brought to this island? Hmm. I wasn't trying to think about that since it's been bugging me too. But he's right, that is a mystery. <laughs> There's more. Why is Jabberwock Island, which was known for being a popular resort, destination now an uninhabited island? There is no sign of tour tourists or even citizens on this island. Is something like that even possible? This too. All civilizations are destined to collapse. Out. Nothing beget beggest existence and existence beget beggest. I don't know how to say that yet. So it collapsed? You are right. Society is much like fruit. Once it matures, it is uneffable. Uneffable. Oh my lord. That is will eventually rot. As the economy ugh, As the economy grows, the private sector stagnates as elders and bureaucrats become more and more powerful. As time passes, this power becomes the statue's queue. Quo. Quo. And crushes the seeds of any possible reformation. Reformation. That is... Such a sad trend. Hmm. I don't really understand all that. But I feel like the situation here is somewhat different. Maybe the Monobies killed everyone on this island? And that's how it be became uninhabited? It's certainly possible. That's a possibility, but we don't know for sure. Hmm. This mystery... This mystery remains a mystery, it seems. It's like everything here is just full of mysteries. Hmm. You're right, it's mysteries on top of mysteries. However, since these mysteries are overlapping with one another, I doubt some no-name group is behind us. What are you trying to say? So, in other words... I mean, the situation we're in is undeniably the work of some enormous organization. <laughs> enormous organization? Hmm. Monami, Monokuma, the Monobies, they're all machines that require major technical skill to operate. Are we screwed? Plus, they need a ton of funding. And there's no way those things remained just for... The hell of it. In other words, that organ organization might be controlling these machines and monitoring the island with those cameras. Then... Could those fiends be hiding on this island? Not possible. Not likely. They're probably running this from somewhere else, somewhere safe. Oh? Where would that be? I don't know. Anywhere there is no mistake that an enormous organization is behind all this. I see a big organization, huh? I can't imagine what kind of people they could be. Another well, let's see. There's my Tagami Corp Corporation. Sonia's Novo Selig Cel Kingdom and the Kuzuru Clan. It would definitely have to be an organization as powerful as one of those groups, if not more so. Huh? I'm used to being mistrusted. Do what you will. Hey. Hold on, I don't care about you or the... Kuzuru clan, but I won't allow you to doubt Miss Sonia. Miss Sonia is a hot blonde princess. There's a sharp distinction between her and you punks. Are you... Are you sipping? Are you a simp? Kazuichi? Are you a simp like Hifumi from the first game? Not creepy like him. Unlike Teru Teru. But are you a simp? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, just shut up already, loser. And she's Whoa. a bully. Loser, are you talking about me? Yeah. It's obvious from your flashy clothes that you just want to stand out because you're actually a loser. <laughs> it must be hard to make your living in the lame ass loser industry. Kyoko, okay, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> too far, dude. That's going way too far. Hey, Biakia, were you serious just now about this being related to your family and Sonia's and such? Hmm. I'm just using them as a, an example. I'm not saying they have anything to do with this. But you're certain that we're up against a huge organization, right? Even if such an organization exists, why would they make us go through something like this? Whatever. How long are we going to keep talking about this? Why don't we talk about something more realistic? 
Our enemy's purpose is still unknown. As long as we find out who's behind this, we'll learn their purpose. So in other words... So what we must do now is find out who our enemy is. If we do that, we'll be that much closer to a breakthrough. Luckily, according to the e handbook, we are free to explore this island. Listen. There will definitely be a clue about the enemy on this island somewhere. Let's start looking. I'm gonna do it! Alright, let's get this crap done. <laughs> what we're looking for. Hey. Ak Akane. Were, were you even listening? We need to find clues that will tell us who our enemy is. Fine. No problem. No matter how long, how large this organization may be, they will not be able to stand against us. Go by four they are destined to fall and turn to ash at the might of my four dark devas of destruction. Wow, wow hamsters came out of your scarf. <laughs> they are so adorable. What? Adorable, you say? I mean, do you think they're ugly? Oh, okay. Oh my my! <laughs> You're pretty happy about that, huh? huh? Look at that guy t talking to Miss Sonya all casually. I'm definitely gonna beat the crap out of him later. Do you have a crush on Sonya? Hmm. I don't get it. In this tense situation, we all need to be a lot more cautious. And yet I'm re relieved everyone is in such high spirits. It's strange, but I feel like I can rely on them. This must be what... This must be what it meant. This must be what it means to have the confidence of an ultimate. Then what am I? Am I confident enough to call myself one of them? Damn it, I still can't remember what talent am I supposed to have. Listen. Anyway, let me just say this. There's no time to think about something as foolish as killing each other. You must do what you have to do. Observe, spe speculate, recognize comprehend even if it seems impossible just persevere but must apparently follow my lead i'll make sure to return you all to your normal lives this is your leader's order understand <laughs> that's like totally awesome <laughs> that's right hand of his wait that right hand of his is so plump i've got the perfect nickname for him Ham hands. Ham hands? Ham hands? <laughs> what? <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day when someone called me something like that. <sighs> oh my lord. Why aren't you getting mad? Naturally. Why would I get mad at something as petty as that? She observed me directly and thought up a nickname. There's nothing dishonest about a name like that. Perhaps I've always yearned for this. Though it may seem ironic for me to realize that in this particular situation, he's totally monologuing right now. Such silly. Don't worry about it. I was talking to myself just now. I see. I don't really get it, but I guess this guy isn't just some overconfident nar nar narcissistic 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 jerk after all. I know the word, y'all. I just don't know how to freaking pronounce it, so sorry. Despite our situation, he's mysteriously calm. He might just be a reliable person after all. All right. All right, then. We should listen to Byakuya and not waste our energy thinking about pointless things. It's true that we're not in the best situation, but it's also not the worst. Great. Because we're not alone. We have friends. We can count on to support each other. Whoa. Seriously? That sounds so lame. I knew it. I was thinking to myself just now lame I sounded for saying that. Friends, huh? Until now, I never really thought about friendship. That sort of thing seemed embarrassing. I never would have thought about it in this situation. No, actually, it's more like because of the situation. Hmm. In the end, we never solved the mystery of the uh, ominous countdown. But without losing heart, we all went back to the hotel. Believe in your friends, huh? It'd be difficult to believe in them right away, but it'd be nice if it could happen a little at a time. Huh? If I'm starting to think like that, doesn't that show 
I'm making good progress. Now then, there's no reason to hole up in my room and stare blankly into space. Since there's time, it'll be a great idea if I went ahead and talked to everyone. I know it's sudden, but it's time for a, a brief tutorial. During the school trip, there will be moments called free time. During free time, you will be able to strengthen your friendship by spending by spending time with um, the other students. Oh, I know this. I know this. Yeah, I know this. I know this. I know this. We all know this. We all know this. All right. All right. Free time. Too much for me. If I'm alone, I'll go crazy. What should I do? Should I invite Macon to hang out? Yeah, let's him. hang out. Uh, yeah. Is it okay for you to hang out with me? Someone like to hang out with someone like me? Thank you very much. You're welcome. It looks like Mikan and I grow a little closer. Would, the, would you like to give Mikan a present? If I have some, I I don't think I do. I don't. So I can't give her anything. All right. Despite the fact that we decided to hang out, Mikan is acting suspicious and hasn't tried to look at me at all. Really? Somehow, I feel like I did something bad to her, even though I know I didn't do anything. Um, uh, I'm sorry. Uh -oh. What's this all of a sudden? Aww. I thought you clearly looks like you were in a bad mood. Did I do something wrong again? You didn't do anything <sighs> wrong. What should I do? Um, would it make you happier if I took my clothes? Mikano! Hold on, why are you reacting like that? You're right, you don't want to see me naked, right? Then how w about my money? I don't want anything, Mikan. Seriously, hold on. It's no use. I feel like if I start panicking, the situation is going to get even worse. Alright, I should just calm down first. Hey, Mikan, I just want to talk to you normally. Talk? Um. Today is such a beautiful day. Yeah. I'm sorry, I sh should I take my- Mikan! Are you a stripper? Like, why- why are you asking this? No, I do not want you to take your clothes off. Seriously, you don't have to do anything like that. This is troubling. I guess I should start talking to Mikan about something she might- uh... Tap pizza? What's your favorite type of pizza? I think pizza should be eaten by everyone. You don't really eat it by yourself, right? So I don't really know. I'm sorry. It's not used. That had the complete opposite effect. This is troubling. I get... Oh my god. Okay. Um, bandage type. That's right, because she's a nurse. Mikan, what type of bandage do you like the most? Bandage? Let's see. There are a lot of different types of these days. Okay, there we go. There we go. It's extremely co convenient because there are waterproof types and sticky types, but I definitely like non-elastic -el types the best. They're not too uh, con constricting, but they still firmly secure wounds. I'm glad. Looks like she's getting into the conversation. <laughs> Sorry, I went ahead and started talking on my own. Don't worry about it. I'm the one who asked anyway. Also, I feel like I got to know you a little more. Really? Um, then let's call it a day for now. Yes. If it's not too much trouble for you, I would like to talk to you again. It's been a while since anyone talked to me like this. Oh. Of course, anytime. Thank you. Very Thank you very much. Uh, okay, well, she is nice. She's not a bad person, but I don't really know how to c communicate with her that well. Mikan's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. You know what? I'm going to check on my pets because... Okay. Okay, so clean that. Can I give him a present? No? Okay. Wait, so is the name on the wall? On my pet's wall? Is that their name? Chibimi? Chibimi? I don't know. Wait, can I give him food? No? Mm, Alright. What's up with her, gamer girl? 
I'm starting to get sleepy. What should I do? Should I invite... Uh, yes, yeah, so let's hang out with her. Hey, hey. Then let's go somewhere with good airflow. It'll be, probably feel good to sleep there. Hmm. We went to the park and I spent time making small talk with Chiaki. I think that's her name. I think it's Ch Chiaki. I think it's... I think that's her name. Before she dozed off. Looks like Chiaki and I grow a little closer. Would you like to give Chiaki a present? I have nothing. Sadly. She's staring off into space again as usual. Ah, sorry. I was getting a little sleep. While you were standing? Impressive. Have you not been sleeping well? Mm. When I'm gaming, I tend to forget about sleeping. Same. Sometimes I even forget to breathe. Uh, not relatable. Not relatable. That's not good. <laughs> Plus, I keep having nightmares. I had a bad dream the other day, so I've been a little scared. Can I ask what kind of dream you had? Well, it was a dream about the tree... About Trio the Punch. Huh? Um. The statue of Jabberwock. Island changed into a bald old man with a thin mustache. It's probably because that game also takes place on a tropical island. <laughs> the more I think about it, the more of the situation feels like that bizarre action game. We might eventually end up turning into sheep. Trio the Punch is the game, right? What kind of game is it? Well, apparently you must really enjoy games, huh, Chiaki? Mm. Hmm. How should I put it? I like it, but gaming is my life. Or maybe life is just a game. But still... Either way, that's all... That's all the more reason why killings shouldn't be allowed. It's not a game if you're not having fun. It doesn't mean anything you just focus on winning or losing. You're right. It doesn't mean games always have to have happy endings. But you should get something out of beating them. There might be weird games here and there, but there are ways of enjoying those too. That's why bizarre games are fun. You can beat them as long as you do your very best. As expected of the ultimate gamer, I would probably just give up on a game like that. But to tell you the truth, there is one type of game that I'm not really good at. I see, what is it? I won't tell you. Oh. Does she have a reason for not telling me? Well, just by talking to Chiaki, I feel like I was able to understand her a little better. So I guess that's good enough for now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, nighttime? That bell just now, could it be... It's a nighttime announcement, I think. Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Hello, everyone. The fun time you've all been waiting for is about to begin! Fun time? I wonder what festivities await you! Oops! Don't want to ruin the surprise! What? It was a little meh at first, but anyway, please gather at Jabberwock Park! Oh, Jesus. Is this our motive? Is he going to tell us our motive to kill now? Lord. Did he just tell us to go to the park? It's the middle of the night. What's he up to i suddenly had a bad feeling about all this and goosebumps sprung up up all over my body if we're not allowed to defy monokuma then there's no way i can ignore this right which means there's nothing i can do except listen to him damn it what is it now okay let's go everyone was already at jabberwock when i arrived okay. once again you're late did you lose your nerve i like to deny that bef but he's not exactly wrong either. That's fine. Anyway, it seems everyone is here. How annoying. What is it this time? So friggin' annoying. Then you shouldn't have come. I mean... Well, I mean, I don't know what'll happen to me if I don't come. <laughs> Since none of us know what'll happen, maybe you should be, be the one to test that out. <gasps> hey, you may talk like, like you're tough, wise guy, but you wouldn't be here unless you were scared to. Huh? What? Yeah, yeah. I guess even a big, bad Yakuza, Yakuza, like you must have, must have, must have been scared of that monster, huh? You. What the fuck did you just say? Wait. Stop it, you two. Fighting among friends isn't good. Huh? What? Did you just say friend? Dumbass. I'm not your friend, dumbass. When did I ever become friends with you bastards? Hmm. <laughs> 
I, let me be perfectly clear. I can do, I can do it, you know. Huh? You. You? What did you say? <laughs> oh, is he talking about killing? Oh, you didn't hear me? Then I'll repeat myself just once for you. Is he talking about, like, he can, like, kill us if he wanted to? I said I can do it. Do it? What are you saying? Don't tell me. Are you being serious right now? Is he talking about the killing game? Hey, Fuya, Fuyi Hiko, why don't you calm down for a bit? Bastard! Don't talk to me like we're friends or something. Don't misunderstand. I live in a completely different world than you bastards. Kill or be killed, so that's the kind of world I live in. Jeez. The current rules make more sense to me that than that. Play nice and get along, crap. What are you saying? If you don't stop right, stop it right now, I'm going to get seriously angry. You don't treat me like a kid, bitch. Oh. Ooh. Just stop. Just stop already. This kind of fighting will not get us anywhere, bro. Shut the hell up. Shut the hell up. There's no way I'm de dealing with this come by a crap. If any of you guys want to die, step forward. I'll fucking kill you right now. Sounds fun. Give me your best shot. Ooh. What's going to happen if you're this easily provoked? That's enough. enough. Huh? Fugi Hiko, I understand what you're saying. Don't worry. I do not intend to dismiss your feelings. There was a time when I also thought the same way as you. Are you treating me like a kid too? Let me say this. What? But what would reckless killing accomplish? If you fail to get away with it, you know you'll be executed. Or perhaps that's what you really want. If so, hmm. you'll only be killing yourself to run away from this Pred predicament. That's what a child would do. What did you say? Listen. Listen. S so long as we're here, I will not let any of you die. I will not let any of you become a victim. Oh, really? Because the first... Biakia from the first game would have. He would not care. So, what's the difference with this Biakia? Biakia. Hmm? And that goes for you too, Fuyuhiko. I won't let you die. Yeah. What the hell? Everything you're saying is it's just empty promises. <laughs> it's true my words would ring hollow if any if anyone else spoke them. And I am destined to bring these promises to Fruition. <laughs> He's so cool. Oh my lord. <laughs> I agree. I don't care what you say. I'm just gonna do whatever I feel like. Do whatever you will. However, remember what I said earlier. In the name of my family. I will not let any of you become a victim. That is the duty I have appointed to myself. Mm. It seems like Biaki have resolved it for now. But even if he, the ultimate Yakuza... Yaku, yo, I don't know how to say that. There's no way a few Yahiko really meant what he said earlier, right? Oh, Jesus. Why is he in that outfit? <laughs> It looked like you guys were arguing, so I wasn't sure when to actually show up. It looks like I showed up at a, an awkward time. Why are you dressed like that? That's what I'm saying. Didn't I mention in my recent broadcast? It's my costume for the fun time. Don't tell me you're going to. That's right. Since we're on a tropical island, I'm here to do my two-man comedy routine. Why does it matter that we're on a tropical island? But can you do a two-man comedy routine all by yourself? Of course not. That's why I brought my partner. Oh, God. What is this? Hmm, that, that figure is... Now then, without further ado, I'm pleased to present Monokuma's side-splitting li live two-man comedy show. Huh? I didn't hear anything about this. Are you telling me I have to improvise? I'm speechless. What is this? Hello! I'm Monokuma! Um, I'm Monami! Monami. Oh, and okay. together we are the Monokumas! Now, I know it's sudden, but I guess I should show you guys my amazing mind reading ability! What is this? Uh, you can read minds? As practice, I'll guess your favorite food! Hmm. 
Your favorite food is... What? So you can do it. It's obvious what rabbits like. Carrots? Kid. That's right. Dabbers. I never eat a dead body. Now then, Monami's up next. Come on, do a short skit or something. God. What? There's no way I can do that. What? No worries, it's all good. I know a technique to summon the god of comedy. Uh -huh. So, which do you think is better? Taking blood while you're still alive or after you're already dead? Why would you ask such a cruel question? Mm -hmm. If I'm gonna summon the comedy, then I'll need a lot of blood. Of course. So, a god of comedy wants blood. Mm. No matter how charmingly you ask, there's no way I'll let you take my blood. You're always so quick to make a scary face, Monami. You guys better be careful, too. You know, since mm. Monami's actually a bad guy. Always the underdog. Believe me, it's a fact that Monami's a villain. I'll let you all in on a little secret of hers. What? Monami went out of her way to erase your memories. Oh, really? Say what? Wait, huh? You guys don't hmm. even remember how you got to this island, am I right? Maybe well, it was you, Monokuma. That's because Monami did that first game memories. with a different class. Well, what are you saying all of a sudden? But wait, there's more. She didn't just steal your boring memories, like how you guys got to this island. Hmm. She completely took away your memories of the years you spent at Hope's Peak Academy. What a shocker! <sighs> so basically, the same thing happened to us, like in the first you. game. Seriously, memory loss plots are so old hat nowadays. Only a total hack would wait until the end of the story to reveal a cliched twist like that. Please stop. <laughs> was it that a huge surprise? In truth, not really. Guys aren't freshmen it wasn't a surprise. At all. You guys just thought you were because you've lost all of your school memories. Quick, someone get a plagiarist because I feel like I've heard this story before. Seriously, this is bad in so many ways. Oh God, yo. I'm through dealing with you. He is abusive. He has been abusing her since the beginning of this damn game. Oh my lord. Yep. Huh? That's what did he mean? How was it? Was it funny or was the comedy too high brow for you? Come on. Hey, what were you saying just now? What was I saying just now? Oh, you mean when I said that your school memories were completely stolen? Completely stolen? Are our school memories completely? What is he saying? <laughs> there is no way. Because I just entered Hostwick Academy and then I was brought to this island right away. It's that's because true. that's how you remember it. All thanks to Monami stealing your school memories. What are you saying? That's impossible. Oh, no. Man, how many years has it been since you guys first entered Host Week Academy? I wonder what happened to your friends and family. They're probably worried sick about you, maybe? Impossible. Our memories were stolen? That's ridiculous. That's right. That's right. There's no way I have memory loss. You can't. Don't. Don't listen to what he says. <laughs> uh, limit breached. I refuse it. to I believe such believe. a thing. Yep, everything's okay. I don't believe it. <laughs> You're lying, right? Stealing our memories? That's a lie, right? You're just trying to make make fools out of us, right? Wrong. Nope, it's not a lie. If it was a lie, then how do you explain this? The moment you arrived at Hostel Academy, you all experienced a strange dizziness. What? How do you know that? Actually. Why? That was the cutoff point. Your memories beyond that point have been completely removed. What the hell? I could feel myself getting lightheaded. I couldn't think, I couldn't... Ow. I couldn't speak. I could only breathe in heavy, ghastly uh, breaths. So a long time has passed since then. Impossible! Impossible, there's no way. Lie. On the contrary, why is it impossible? That's Whether or not it's impossible, there's no way we can believe it. No, no. You just don't want to believe it, right? Yeah. <laughs> but don't worry, I'm a generous guy. I can't I can give 
you back your memories. Uh? Huh? Hey, um... Hey, Everett, there's a catch. Could it be? Don't tell me the catch is. <laughs> Figure it out yet? That's right! That's right, you guys have to kill each other. There we go. There's the motive. That's my bargaining point. Ooh, uh, hey, hey. You guys want to know, right? You want your school memories returned to you, right? Hey, man. Then you better start killing. A penny for your thoughts and a murder for your memories. There is the first motive. I knew there was going to be a motive. I knew it. Me Stop off. running your mouth. Why, why? My, why so angry? I'm just providing you all my motive from the bottom of my big, generous heart. Otherwise, you cowards wouldn't get any killing done. <laughs> well, that's not your fault. Humans are natural born cowards. Really? They even cry after their mom squeezes them out. Special bleeding service. That's why I'm giving you a motive. Think of it as an excuse to commit your future crimes. Do you really think your delusional rambling will convince us to commit murder? What do you say? I don't even believe that memory loss crap in the first place. But more than that, what you guys really don't believe is each other, right? What's going on? What do you mean? Hey, um... You guys don't know each other, which means... Yeah! None of you realize that a traitor is hiding among us, right? Is there another freaking... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, a spy? Is there another freaking spy? And... Uh, whatever. <laughs> What are there are 16 of you? If a total of 15 students from Hope's Peak Academy were arranged to come to this island, I got it. that's right, there's probably a traitor I don't even know about hiding among the group. Just kidding. What are you saying? All this shit about traitors doesn't make any sense. It's obviously nonsense. Blame. For real, you guys, how can you be so sure? You guys don't know anything about each other, you don't know each other's true natures. That's why if one of you is planning to kill someone, it's impossible for any of you to, to know. With those words, everyone fell silent. I wanted someone to argue with, with him. Anybody. But nobody said a word. They just stood there. Uh -huh. Even so, if there really is a traitor, isn't that gosh darn awful? Pretending to be your ally, ally and tricking you guys, it makes sense for someone like that to get killed, right? Yeah. Come on, make the primitive, 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 I don't know, strike. It's first come and fir first come, first served, and the winner takes all. <laughs> if you want to survive, you gotta find that person before they find you. Even after Manakuma's boisterous laughter faded away, we all just stood there. Is it true? Is there really a traitor among us? You've got it wrong! It's not me, by the way. I know... I may not look suspicious. I know I may look suspicious, but it's not me. Who is it? Hurry up and show yourself. You're only making things worse for you by s s staying silent. That's enough. Just stop. There's no way there's a traitor. Uh, I think there is. Um, there's no way. It's pointless to even discuss something so foolish. There was in the first game, so nothing would um shock me right now. I won't believe. That's right. I, I don't believe, believe it. Because there's no way I can believe it. There's no reason in the first place to believe it. Monami, you would know. Huh? Is what Monokuma said true about our memory loss and about the charter? Um... I mean, everyone needs to look to the future. That's why you should, shouldn't should look back to the past. Keep your eyes fixed upon the future. Let's do your our very best. She ran away. How ridiculous. Memory loss, a traitor. It's the c completely fictional. Dumbass. I can't deal with this bullshit, dumbass. As he said, it's a work of fiction. It's entirely different from the reality I know. Stolen memories, all of my school memories, everything, a traitor hiding among us? But what really struck me was when Monokuma said, you guys don't know anything about each other. Oh god. Bedtime. Him. Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. It is now 10 Yep, PM. bedtime. Please return to your rooms and relax. Let the Someone might die tonight. 
rock you to sleep. So am my day tonight. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Mm -hmm. Hey. What should we do? It's better if we call it a night here. We should get some sleep and try to keep our minds calm. I guess you're right. This is your leader. Just so y'all know, do not think about unnecessary things. This is your leader's order. Tomorrow morning, let's meet all meet at the restaurant after Monica's morning announcement. Um, How troubling! I think the saying goes, "I am frightened so stiff." Yeah, morning well. time. Okay. Ooh. I slowly and awkwardly sat up in my bed. Both my head and my body felt heavy, but. It was still an improvement compared to last night. Well, all said that we'd meet at the restaurant. Okay. Someone might have died. I don't know. Several people were already at the restaurant. Hmm? But nobody was talking, not a single word. Oh. While they sat there, the people who were late began to arrive as well. Alright. I've made you wait. Is everyone here? Huh? It seems Fuyuhiko is not here yet. <laughs> is he dead? Maybe he already got killed, is what I'm thinking. <laughs> dead bodies already? No. You'd be surprised. Don't go killing people off. I saw him outside earlier. Oh, okay. However, he told me he would not be joining us this morning. Why not? <laughs> Why does he have to act like a lone Wolf at a time like this. Could he is he thinking up a plan to kill someone by himself? You must not. Kazuichi, you should not doubt your friend. Hey, hey, hey. Well he's a Yakuza, isn't he? Do you understand what that means? No. It he's part of the Japanese mafia. Hmm. I presume he's the kind of person who would not come even if he if we summoned him. That's fine. I guess it can't be helped, we should just talk among ourselves. Someone can fill him in later. Talk, what are we going to talk about? Rejoice. Rejoice, I have decided to throw a party tonight. Oh. A party? <laughs> That's right. That's right, a huge party that will last from sundown to sunrise. What the party till the sun comes up? This is your just so we're clear, I would not allow any ab absences. Your attendance at this party is absolutely mandatory. Huh? Hey, now is not the time to talk about stuff like partying. Hm. On the contrary, there is no better time than this. Hmm. But still, we ready we really should be partying. Wait. Um, hold on. I agree with Biakia. It doesn't do us any good to stay bum bummed out like this. Hey. In fact, because of the situation we're in. It's probably best if we all strengthen our friendships with one another. <laughs> That's what you thought too, right? That's why you want to throw a party? Hmm. It doesn't matter what why I'm doing it. Anyway, it is of vital importance that we all stay in one place tonight. You, see. you say that with such sickness. It's all clear now. It's it's decided we're having ourselves a party. Even so, I'm not sure it needs to last all, all night. Stop talking. If I thought that, I would have made that clear from the beginning. Alright, so the party is now about to begin. So this is the old building compared to the hotel. It definitely looks worse for the, for the wear. <laughs> You're here. Now then, stand up straight and raise your arms. Why do I have to do that? Hmm. Because I need to do a body check. Oh, for weapons. Since I'm the one hosting the party, it's necessary for me to take all the possible security measures. Person. I already promised that I would not allow even one person to become a victim. I get it. And so I reluctantly raised my arms and stood up straight. Byakia went ahead and thoroughly searched me, starting with my legs and working his way up. I see. It appears you haven't brought anything dangerous. Of course I haven't. That's fine. Very well. I shall allow you to enter. Thank you. It was at that moment that I noticed a strange item near where Byakia was standing. Metal cases. What? I found them at the supermarket. This is 
this one is used to store any dangerous items I find during body checks. The other one is for... Well, let's just say it's for emergencies only. What do you mean emergencies? Stop talking. Don't worry about it. The others are already here gathered at the dining hall in the back. Go there and wait. As soon as he said that, Byakia turns back to me. I guess that's the end of our talk, but he's so cautious. I didn't expect him to perform a body check. And what did he mean by emergencies only? I have no idea, yo. So let's go ahead and answer. Oh, there's that uh, Nekamaru. Oh? There's a tantalizing aroma aroma wafting from the kitchen. Jeez. However, Byakia will yell at me if I don't go straight to the dining hall. You should head over there as well. The kitchen. Alright, that's closed. Oh, this is the kitchen. Okay. Terra Terra is in here, of course. Chef. Oh, did you need something? Don't worry, I've already prepared all of the dishes. Or rather, did you want me to cook you up too? No. What does that even mean? <laughs> okay. This is where everyone else is at. Alright. <laughs> Hachmi, how do you like it? What do you mean? See, I decorated the whole dining hall for the party. I even laid out the carpet too. Really? Even the carpet? Yep. Yep, I brought it from the supermarket. That place sure does seem to have everything. <laughs> I actually wanted to cover up, to cover the whole floor, but I guess the carpet wasn't big enough. Ow! That hurt. There was a lot of dust and cobwebs all over the place too. It took me all day to clean the dining hall just because of that. There's no way I could handle being stuck cleaning the whole day. You're com you're commendable. Nagato. I think it's Nagato. Thanks. Alright, so. What about you? Gross. That creepy Ikea rubbed his ham hands all over me and called it a body check. More like sexual harassment. That's not what it is. He did the same thing to the guys, too. <laughs> so? I feel like he was getting frisky while he was frisking me. Huh? I'm pretty in demand, you know. You're just kidding. Man, that was so uncomfortable. Getting groped so thoroughly by a man, that was my worst nightmare. Oh, you mean the body check? How annoying. Plus he got super pissed and started yelling at me when I when he noticed I had a wrench with me. Oh. <laughs> Seriously, how freaking annoying. It's your fault for having a wrench in the first place. Man. I just happened to find it at the airport. Tearing it around calms me down. But Biakia put it in that put it in that Dura Lumen case of his. Aw, man. Alright. What about Gundo? Good instinct. Even though that man is a, a lowly worm, it appears his cooking skills are most impressive indeed. Ne nevertheless, even his food cannot stand against the, gr the garment. What's up? It's funny that she's completely focused on the food. There's a lot of tasty looking party dishes. Meat, fish, it's all there. What else is here? Oh, what's this? Such luxurious looking party dish. Okay, okay, okay. Suddenly we heard the voice of the ultimate fluent prejudice uh, ring throughout the dining hall. Oh. Hmm. Tara Taro is in the kitchen and it appears Fuyuhiko did not come. I apologize. I apologize. I did not inform him about the party, but Jeez. it's not like you need to apologize, Peko. It's his fault for not coming. I explicitly stated that attendance was mandatory, but it's fine. If just one person is absent, that shouldn't pose a problem. So it's not a problem for him. Watch me be the only one absent, and Byakia would freaking 
say you shit. Watch, watch. He won't be able to do anything. What do you mean by that? What? More importantly, hmm? come on. What is that? An intense expression spread across Bianca's face as he looked at the table with various food dishes on it. Impossible. Dangerous. What? As he stomped his way toward the table. Oh? What the fuck? Hey, what, what, the what are you doing? Biakia. Biakia. What you say? You're totally pigging out. Right. I'm telling you, I'm not. Look carefully at this dish. What? It looks like delicious roasted meat. And just what is stabbed into this roasted meat? Uh, it's an iron ske skewer. Right. Oh. This iron skewer is definitely a dangerous item. I must take full responsibility and collect it. You gonna save that food for us, though? Hello there. Looks like everyone's here. I should go ahead and bring out the rest of the rest of the huh? <gasps> Some must see either ruins my arrangement. Hmm. Who made this dish? Um that would be me, but um are you a food critic? What are you thinking? What are you plotting? Cooking with such dangerous items? No 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 dangerous. No, no, no. That's Churrasco, it's a South American meal where you stab meat on an iron skewer to cook it. It felt really tropical and exotic, so I thought it would totally fit the party's atmosphere. These iron skewers are a problem. Why? Iron skewers aren't allowed either? If that's how you aren't- If that's how you're acting, then there might be more skewers than just these. Let's go. Hajime, come with me. I need your help. Why me? Man. It's your fault for standing right in front of him. My condolences. Bianca's face bore an intense expression as I reluctantly followed him out of the dining hall. Oh uh, what? Let's go. All right, this is the kitchen. We have to thoroughly inspect it to to make sure there are no dangerous items. Bianca stomped into the kitchen and I followed him after. Oh, you know what? There are knives here. I saw that. Let's get on with it then. Search this place early. Yeah. Hmm. There are forks and knives on that shelf. Don't tell me those too. Those are definitely dangerous items. If you're just eating chopsticks are enough. After he said that, Biakia threw the forks and knives into the drilling case, one after the other. You're being very thorough about this. They're finally back! Let's eat already, I'm starving. Hmm. There's still an issue we need to address first. Right. An issue? Right. Who do I gotta beat the crap out of? Just say the word, I'll do it for ya. That's enough. That won't be necessary. The issue is where to safeguard this Durlam case that has all the confiscated dangerous items. Huh? Can't we just leave it here? Hmm. I've already put a lock on the case, so it shouldn't be a problem, but we should definitely stay up the security. Definitely up the security and keep it someplace safe. Um. Someplace safe. Oh, there is a storage room at the back of the uh, of this old building. I see. Storage room, huh? Even so, we can't leave the case alone in here, in then. there. Then someone should guard it. That would keep it safe, yes? Who? Who? I'll do it, of course. Uh, <laughs> Are you sure? I guess if you insist, just kidding. Aww. But it'd be lonely there by yourself. I don't mind. I don't mind. I'm really not that good in situations where I have to be around lots of people anyway. <laughs> if I wrote a song about this, the title would be definitely be Lonely Girl in the Storage Room. Hmm. However, however Teru Teru has gone to the trouble of cooking. Is it all right for me to bring some of it with me? Okay. That's totally fine. But, but if you're going to do guard duty anyway, it might be better if you avoid the storage room. Why is that? Well, not only is the storage room packed with lots of stuff, it's hard to um, it's hard to see in there and full of cobwebs. <laughs> also, I was so busy cleaning the dining hall that I didn't even have time to clean the storage room. 
If you stayed in there for a long time, I think it would be bad for your health. I see. In that case, why don't you guard it in the office? If I recall cor correctly, there's also a circuit breaker in there too. It'd be a good idea to guard that as well. Yep. Yet the office sounds nice. I'm pretty sure it's not that dirty either. Understood. Understood. So I need to be on guard duty at the office. Then I should get going and have fun tonight, everyone. Taking with her the journal case and the plate piled with food, Becca left the dining hall. And with that, the party started. Okay, cool. Now that I think about it, I still don't understand why we're even having a party in the first place. But whatever the reason, everyone seems to be having fun. Hey, Yo, that food looks so good. Can I finally eat? The food looks You're so already good. already eating! I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't stop. Akane. <laughs> I can't stop my hands from shoving food in my face. Well, of course you can't stop. These are the world's tastiest party dishes after all. No matter how full you I feel, want some. you can't help but continue eating such exquisite delicacies. That is what I cook. The world's tastiest dishes. That's rather scary. You're mm. not eating? Then I'm gonna eat all this by myself. I'll make lots more in the kitchen, and then I'll bring it all out here, okay? Mm -hmm. Hey, everyone. While we're at it, why don't I take pictures for you guys? Wow. That sounds wonderful. Please do. Well, it looks pretty nice that everyone's having fun. This feels weird. When I first came to this island, watching everyone have fun was so frustrating. But now it feels reassuring. We're actually friends who fight together, friends who've developed a sense of unity. Nikamaru? Did something happen? The party's just started, but I just returned to my cottage. Come on. Don't be foolish. I won't allow such selfish actions. Don't stop me. Don't stop me, Byakia. There's there comes a time when a man knows he's gotta go. If I don't go now, it would shame me as a man. Sure. Shitting my pants would totally shame me as a man. So he was talking about the toilet? What? If you need to use the bathroom, there's one in the in this old building. Why don't you need to why do you need to go back to your cottage? I've been trying to use it many times, but the door just won't open at all. What? Was it this what now? Impossible! My hellhound earring. What? Has disappeared. Did it vanish into subspace? Calm down, you probably just dropped it somewhere. Sure. Oh shit, I'm gonna sh Oh bro. Quiet. Shut up, don't you dare. Oh, hey, is it really alright if I eat all this? Don't be an idiot. Make sure you leave some for me. Come on! Hey Biakia, everyone, come on, I'm gonna take a picture. Alright. Oh. Hey, why can't you all act like all act a little more mature? What? What was that sound just now? Oh? It's dark all of a sudden. Oh <gasps> it's a blackout! Oh, blackout? A blackout? Hey, I can't see anything. In that instant as we stum stumbled around in the darkness, our fear swallowed us up like a flood. It's pitch black! My future is pitch black! The sounds of screams and frantic footsteps rang throughout the dark dining hall, and were immediately swallowed up by another sound. Everyone, calm down! We gotta stay calm in a situation like this! Right. Ah, don't step on my feet! What the hell? What's going on here? Because the windows were entirely covered, the blackout surrounded us with complete darkness. Ooh. Complete darkness. Therefore, no matter how long I wait, there's no way my eyes will adjust. This is... Ow! Turn the damn lights on! You guys? Where are you? W wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Perhaps the breaker overloaded? Hold on a sec. Oh? I'll go along the wall. And do something about it. Okay. Within the darkness, we fervently waited to be released from our fear. We anxiously waited, and after a while, it finally oh, it came on. 
Oh, thank God. Okay. At the moment when the lights in the dining hall finally turn back on, a shocking scene unfolded before our eyes. What? McCann's appearance had been compromised. Oh! My God. Mekon, be a seriously freaking careful. How do you trip and land like that? Yay! An erotic pose. That's obviously a fan service moment. Mekon. Oh, please don't, please don't look at me. <laughs> I can't take this at all. Myro, it's time to snap. Oh, it's my Myro. There, there's no way I can do that. Already. Yeah, help her, please. Thank God. <laughs> she is Sorry. embarrassed, yo. Hey. Yeah, from now on, just be careful. Huh? Where's Miyakio, too? I don't see him. Oh, I'm glad. The lights are back on here, too. Yay! So, you were the one who fixed the breaker. Kazuichi, you were unusually useful this time. Hey. Well, no, I couldn't find my way to the office with the circuit breaker. Huh? When... Then why are the lights back on? <laughs> who knows? What? Are you Don't who knows me. You're so useless. <laughs> it's not my fault, you know. There's no way I could have found my way to the office in that darkness. Oh my. What happened? Sonia, did something happen? Um... No, Biakia is missing. Did he go somewhere? That's what I'm saying. Where is he? Huh? Biakia? Oh no, did something happen? We immediately looked around the dining hall. Sure enough, Biakia, who promised he would lead us in situations like this, was nowhere to be found. Huh? Hmm. I thought they were gonna find a dead body. <laughs> That's weird. He was here earlier, right? Um... Did he run off somewhere during the blackout? In that pitch blackness, hey. I'm a little worried we should split up and go look for him. I'll look in the storage room, so can I ask you to check the entrance, Hajime? Yeah, I got it. For now. Then I guess I'll look in the office. Then... I shall go look around in the hallway. Oh, I'll wait here oh, since no. I'm kinda in the middle of eating anyway. She's still gonna eat while this is going on. Mm. I must bathroom. Sure. I must man up and check the bathroom. All right. Oh. Chiaki and Monami are standing in front of the entrance. I guess they're watching out for Monokuma. Huh? Hajime, what about the party? Oh, uh it's not done yet, right? I haven't even joined in yet. Hey, Chiaki, did you happen to see Biakia pass by here? Nope. Biakia, no, I didn't. But what happened to Biakia? There was a sudden blackout inside the old building and Biakia vanished during that time. So we thought he might have gone outside, but... Nope, nobody came out. If nobody came out, does that mean he's still inside? If that's the case... We might have missed each other. Watch me, how'd it go? Well, when I talked to Chiaki, she said he didn't go outside. That's... That's weird. No one was inside the storage room either. Is he in the kitchen? He was in the kitchen, obviously. Okay. Mm. No one was in the office. It is strange. Nobody was no? in the office? That's weird. What about Pekko? I thought she was supposed to be guarding that area. Hey. Well, actually, not even Pekko was there. Huh? Pekko's gone too? Maybe those two took advantage of the blackout to have themselves a major uh, makeout session in the ba No. Well done. Oh my god. Terra mm. Terra. Hmm. Um. Did something happen to Kone? No. Well, do any of you smell something? Well. What? When the partially digested food is absorbed, absorbed by the small intestine, it's decomposed. By bacteria rele releasing gas, which is mostly absorbed in the in intestinal tract, but what whatever cannot be absorbed is excreted from the anus. Okay, Mikon. Yes! Those are the mechanics of farting, but farting isn't something to be embarrassed about. It's not like that. No, I'm not talking about that. Wait. It smells like blood. You can smell blood? Are you a vampire? Uh, as Akane's nose twitched like a beast, she suddenly pointed. It's coming from over there. 
or over there. A table at the very back of the dining hall. The smell of blood. What in the world is at the table? It's under there. Under the table? I dashed toward the table at the back, reached out toward the tablecloth, and then I stopped. Is this nervousness? Fear? Why? Why am I nervous? It can't be. It obviously can't be. There's no way that's gonna happen. What? A dead body. Bianchi has dead body. With the shout, I grabbed the tablecloth and flipped it back in one go. Oh shit. There's a dead body. Biakia's dead body. Biakia's dead body. Somebody killed Biakia. For the rest of my life, I will never forget what I saw. What I saw. I saw the ultimate fluent, affluent pro progeny, Biakia Tagami, already dead and beyond rec recognition. Yo. Who killed Biakia? Alright, so I'm gonna stop it right there. So now, I knew someone was gonna die in this episode. I freaking knew it. Um, Biakia's dead. Somebody killed Biakia. I would say about time, but like still. Someone killed somebody. So, I do have my suspicion on Fury Hugo. Because he wasn't there. So who knows what he was doing. And I have my suspicion on Pecco. Because Pecco was um, guarding the storage room. But like we didn't see her. But she like wasn't at the um, dining hall at that time. But we don't know what she was doing. So I have my eyes on those two so far. It could be anybody though because this literally happened inside the dining hall. So... It could be anyone in the dining hall, too. So, I don't know. Anyway. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please give a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. And I will be back with this again pretty soon. Just be patient because it literally takes me a long time to edit. Um, to edit these gameplays on Dingarampa. So, just be patient, please. And make sure you guys have a good day today. Bye!